welcome back everyone to our sad opening of this war of mine. Malik has died. He told the truth though. But in the process, Malik was killed by the soldiers. Something terrible happened. Malik is dead. They came in the night and shot him in cold blood. So sad. Today's episode, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing. So let's all sit back, relax, and see what happens. Yeah. Boop. There we go. No new bio? Damn. Aww. Very tired and depressed. Aww. This is my fault. No, it's not. I mean, no. You did it for the people. Oh my god, I can't go on. Alright, Malik's body, numerous bruises indicate that he was brutally beaten and mutilated. Those bastards came can come after me too. I have nothing to live for anymore. <gasps> oh crap, I'm so tired. So yeah. Oh, wait, there's stuff. Yeah, I think we can investigate. Destroyed transmitter, plenty of parts. We'll be needed to fix it, god damn. What's this? Remains of Malik's journal. Only the last pages is readable. Remember Esma's birthday is next week. Tell Franco beforehand to try to get flowers. Aww. Aww. Damn, that's it. Alright. Can't do much today. Just go sleep, Malik. I mean, Esma. Yeah. Uh, we eat always on an even day, so tomorrow we will eat. As for today, nothing. Damn, you're depressed. You're very tired. Maybe playing the guitar will help uh, get rid of the depression. Oh, we got a person. Oh, we're just normal tired now. Okay. Who's this? It's not a traitor. Not Franco. Still got uh, fuel burning. That's nice. I can't go on without you. Oh no. You have to run. Mom! <gasps> what? Mom, I'm so glad to see you. Is Dad alright? No! They killed him. No, I'm too late. They came in the night and shot him. Soldiers like you. I deserted when I heard that the army is coming after you. I wanted to warn you. I'm so sorry for everything. Will you let me in? Come in, say- Oh! Note. He is back home. No. Oh. I'll never forgive myself for being too late. No. Oh. Who was this? Who was he named again? That I ran away in the first place. Oh. Is he Adam? Now, I'll never have a chance to tell how sorry I am. <sighs> Mom, I wish I had never left you. I know it's too late for that, but I'm so sorry. I can't skip through the stuff. This will not bring Dad back. It's good to see your face again, to know you're alive, but I need more time. <gasps> At least have him around. You're all alone here, Esma. Oh, I wish your father could hear this. Now all you can do is help me bury him. Yes. Oh, oh my god, we can control him. Yes, I just heard the click. So sad. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, shit. I told him, is this the end already? Stay here with your father's body. I'll find the priest and ask him about the burial. It's strange that we can still click on this stuff. Yeah, I'll take it. Hello, priest. 
Yes, ma'am. So glad. Father, I'm here to arrange a funeral. Oh, my dear. So the rumors were true. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. I should have stopped them. Protected them. You mustn't blame yourself. You both brought hope into the hearts of so many people. Some of them are in my church now. Talk to them, please. I can't. It's so hard now that he's, go he's gone. I just want it all to end. You need time to heal. If you want to leave it all behind, there's a boat leaving Pogren from Pier 9. You've earned a place on it with everything you did for the people of this city. Thank you. I'll have to think about it. Don't worry about the funeral. I'll take care of everything. Just do me a favor and stay with us for a while. Talk to the people. Oh, yes. What? Hey, what's this person? This person's gone. Alright, go back. Yeah. Well, let's talk to the people. Please accept my condolences. After my wife passed away, Malik's voice kept me com kept me company during my long, lonely nights. I don't know what I do, what I will do without it. I'm sorry, but it's too difficult for me to talk about it right now. I understand very well. I've been through that. I just hope someone will continue his work. Malik is gone, and so is his radio. Nobody can replace him. The radio wasn't only Malik. I'll leave you with that thought. Be well, Esma. Hey, hell yeah, we're gonna continue his uh, works. Such a tragedy. First Gustav, now Malik. Gustav, from the music club? What happened? Those army bastards. They learned there was plenty of radio equipment at the music club. They trashed the place to, take sh to make sure we keep our mouths shut. They killed Gustav when he tried to stop them. Fucking monsters. Bastards. You are Esma, right? You and your husband run the program Glass Radio. We did. My husband, Malak, he's gone. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This war is taking the best people away. I don't care anymore, I've already lost everything. Please don't say that. There's always something or someone worth living for. Oh, my son. I didn't even tell him what a relief it was to see him again. You see, that is always a light. Be well, Esma. Oh. Is the person we saved? Who are you? Who are you? Esma, I never had the chance to thank Malik, and now I never will. But at least I can thank you. There's nothing to thank me for. You and your husband saved our daughter. She was very ill, and we heard Malik talking about the medic medical drop. Yes. Oh crap, I kicked my wire. Now he's gone. But you are not. The war is still going on, and many people are going to need help. You should carry on his work. Thank you for your kind words. But my family has suffered too much already. No. Alright. Now it's time to go talk back to the sun. I see this church. Oh, pretty small. I mean, pretty massive, actually. <laughs> the priest said he'll take care of everything. Some people stopped by to talk to me. They are very grateful for Father's help. So many people will miss him. But all their gratitude won't bring him back. His death doesn't have to be the end of it all. We can continue his work. It's helped so many. Or maybe we should leave this city before it kills us. There's a boat leaving from Pier 9. We can board it. I don't want to run away again. For once, I want to do what's right. What would Father want us to do? It's really late, Adam. Adam! We'll talk about it later. No. Esma's back. Alright, it's not the end. Nice. Okay, it's also the time to eat. It's the 14th, right? 14th day? Yeah, day 14. And it's still goddamn cold. Aw, oh, cool. We have Adam. Adam! Malik is gone, but I have to live for our son. Alright, Adam is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Oh no! Oh, that's well. My beloved husband is dead and it's all my fault. Why was... Yeah, why was I so naive thinking the soldiers would leave us be? After all those broadcasts, I should have protected him. Even lied to him if necessary. Hi. 
got a mustache. <laughs> right, cool. We're reading Adam for the first time. Adam. I've always thought of myself as a patriot first and a Viceni second. When the insurgency began, I was horrified how my country has, was being torn apart by a clique by a clique of politicians stalking nationalist agenda and setting people against their former friends and neighbors. After a particular long and bitter argument with my father, I stormed out and enlisted in the government army. By the time I realized my mistake, it was already too late to go back. So sad. I deserted as soon as I learned that the military was after my father, but it was already too late. I'll never forgive myself. Oh. Someone's at the door. What? No one's at the door. What are you talking about? Go on up. Oh, hungry. Yeah. Go eat. Hungry as well. Go on. Come down here. Oh my god. Shit, you're very tired. Oh my god, both of you are very tired. Wait, what? Come on. Yeah, eat. Damn it, that's permanently there. There's no one at the door. Alright. Crest. You go and, uh, yeah. There, then. Go take severely ill. They say these cans are quite nutritious. <laughs> uh, not really, I wouldn't say. Oh my god, need the real meds. Can we? Do we have anything for it? We're actually able to make real meds, right? Damn it, no! Just bandages. Bastard. Also, we need a new bed. You know, you go there, Esma. Yeah, come on. I need you to go and build this bed quickly, then also sleep on it. That seems to be all we can do for now. And can you, uh... Adam, can you go and check on this? What's it say? What's the stuff we need to fix it? We need radio parts to fix it. Oh my god. Oh no. Wait, you go there. Esma is very quick. Come on, God damn it! Yeah, there we go. Heard someone outside. I didn't hear the words. Come on, I know you're there. Yeah, we are. Just wait. Come on, Franco. Bad shit has happened. Oh, cool. Actually, uh, medicine. Yeah, nice. You probably. Holy shit, we got a lot of fertilizer. <laughs> cool, we got stuff that we can sell. Come on, I haven't got all day. Come on, Franco. Uh, yeah, let's trade normally. Oh my god, you don't have proper meds? Oh. <sighs> so sad. So sad, no proper meds. Let's get all these useful shit. Um, really? God damn! Let me add some more. No. God damn. Yeah, cigarettes seem a bit important. What you got? Oh. Can we add some more? These stuff? Uh... Oh my god, wow. Anything else? Oh! Um, fuel. Well, oh, too much. Oh, nice. Uh, deal. There you go. A. Hey. I heard about Malik. What a terrible loss. I share your grief and anger. I wish I could help you. Do you need anything? Thank you. We'll manage. I understand. We need medicine! Oh my god. Hope oh, snipers won't see me. Okay, yeah. Now get on up there. You're pretty tired. Very tired. And we're gonna have to leave us here for now. We'll be right back once it's nighttime. Not sure what we're gonna be doing. Oh crap, the temperature's really low. 
Oh. God damn, Esma's still tired. We'll be very tired again t uh, when we send her out. I believe we got a hint to go to the... Oh, right. It's a church. We visited that already. Destroyed Music Club. That's where we're supposed to go. But this. We found out that taking a boat from the river port is the least dangerous way to escape Pogren. Hmm. No, we're heading here. Destroyed music club. Or that something terrible has happened in the music club. We're having you scavenge and you sleep in bed. Yeah. I hope the background audios. No, I can hear like music advertisements going on in the back. Goddamn. <laughs> All right, time to prepare. All right, bring this. Bring that. Cool, we got the bulletproof vest. Are there any meds here? Yeah, let's just shut, let's just go scavenge. All right, yeah. And I did. Oh my God, you're dead. The army was here. They didn't even bother removing the bodies. I remember that there was like stuff we couldn't go up here. Yet another body. No, just Esma, walk, walk normal. Oh shit! Why? Why can we see through? Oh. oh. Help me, please! I'm wounded. An unarmed civilian's body. Somebody just opened the door and executed him. Please, I'm wounded. I can't move. What happened here? Soldiers stormed in and started shooting everybody. Then they smashed the audio equipment. They thought someone here had something to do with your broadcasts. They are all dead now because of you. Please at least help me. I'm badly wounded. What's he need? I need bandages. Alright, not now, yeah, come on. If we find any bandages here, then uh Yeah. We can help. Oh my god, all these people died because of the army. Because the army wanted to end our broadcasts. The execution was fast and brutal. What's here? Oh! Oh, nice! We got thing. <laughs> oh, this is Gustav. Destroyed audio equipment. Maybe we can use these parts to repair our radio. Oh no, is this Gustav? Text on the wall. Keep your mouth shut if you want to live. Oh, no. oh yeah, that's just how to get out. Yeah. All right, let's head on back. See if we can head on up. And see what else we got up there. God damn it! Should have brought. We I know we have bat. No, we don't. We don't have bandages. I think. <coughs> What's really? <laughs> Alright, what else we got here? Yeah, need that. What's in here? Alright, nice. We can go up there. Damn it, you have barred from the other side. What are you saying you can't get on up there? What? Still? What the hell is this? What's the point? How come we can't get on up? God damn it. <laughs> damn, we can't even help that guy. It's not like we can go up there, right? Oh, that would be a shocker. We can actually go from here. It's not possible, right? No. Ah, oh, damn. Damn it. That's it. All 
Unless... Unless... My idea of before... No? Really? Can't? Come on. Can you? Now what? Oh, you could! Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, we got a few minutes. Alright, for some reason there's a... Areas you can hide. Don't know why. Hit on down. We're able to. Yeah. Smash on through. Ah, oh, there. There you are. Yeah, down. Bastard. Bastard barb door. Alright. Get that open. Nice. We're free. Head on back up. Come on. I know you can. We got a few... few more hours. Come on. What? Really? Damn, I'm not seeing... Oh, wait, no, there was a thing there. He ignored it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, what's here? No bandages. Now it's gonna make it feel like uh, we blamed that guy. I mean, we made sure not to give him anything because he blamed us for everyone's death. Something like that. This is like we're looting the whole damn place now. Damn. That's it. We've uh, looted everything. I do not see anything else. Oh, yeah, a quick on exit out of here. Out we go. Sun's rising, I gotta move. Yep, yep, you have to. There you go. Oh wow, this highway has a tram system. Nice. <laughs> Alright, day 15. Not eating again. Got ourselves a radio transmitter. I'm just imagining he's here. Waiting for news. Oh. Adam is pale, coughing. Yeah, goddammit, he's still severely sick. Where are you, Adam? Ah, oh, you're up there. Yeah, just just stay there. Really. Oh, we got a thing now. A thing that we can do. Can you? Transmitter is badly damaged. We need to get special transmitter parts if we need want to fix the radio. We get it? You'd ask Adam to help me with this. Uh, anyway, I guess. Go and, um. Yeah, just go and. Ah, oh, wait, no, you can talk now. Go, yes. Come on, wake up, yeah. And what's this? Oh, just talking. Oh. Don't need to shake, come on. It's tragedy, it's difficult for both of us. Yes. Yes, it is. We need to find the strength to go on. It's also hard. No. You're all I have left. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm here. I'm here for you, Mom. We look after each other from now on. Yeah. Okay. You all. Uh, you all done talking. Come on. Yeah. God damn. Mom, I'm with you. Don't worry, I won't leave you. You must rest. I'll take care of everything. You must be strong. 
I will find a way to repair the radio. We could carry on Dad's work. I want to fight back. Aw, oh, there you go. Mom thinks we should leave everything and escape the city by boat. I know she's broken now, but we should find the transmitter parts and repair our radio. We should continue Dad's work. Um, I... I have done it. Now, uh, go sleep. We have special transmitter parts. I have the diagrams ready at the workshop. Okay. All right. I don't want to broadcast again. I want to run from the city and leave everything behind. Oh. No, you don't want to do that. But yes, here we go. Rich workshop. That's right. We'll also add a couple of uh, fuel. Boop. Boop. Nice. Now let's do it. Woohoo! Oh, nice, we got everything. Make. Come on. Come on, Adam. Adam. Go and do it. You can do it. It'll take you a while, but... Good. Damn, you're still severely ill. We don't have any meds. Pharmacy has, but... Taking from them just feels a bit wrong. Though they are friends. Oh, crap. You don't even know if they're alive. Because we reported on uh, that the soldiers were gonna hit a rebel camp. Woohoo, Adam, you've done it. Okay, Mom, we're set. Oh, oh crap, is that it? We're just gonna continue, and that's the end. This is Adam, Malik's son. Oh. Broadcasting again after the soldiers murdered my father. He was brutally killed for sharing the truth with you. But his voice will not be silenced. He will carry on his work. No. Say what needs to be said. Because we are your voice. Oh. The voice of Pogarin. Oh. You decided to continue Malik's mission. Oh. Shortly afterwards, the war ends. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Alright, time to see the stuff we've done along the way. Damn, I'm cold. I got goosebumps. What the hell's face is that? Day one, war. <laughs> oh my god. Before the war, we used to play jazz music and thematic, thematic broadcasts. The outbreak of war put an end to all that. And our radio uh, started serving a much more important purpose. We realized that people's lives and well-beings could depend on up-to-date local news, and we decided it was our job to provide it. Blood on our hands. Esma killed a soldier. Wait, what? She did? Oh god, yeah, we did. Oh, forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what else? Day 3. Fuel at gas station. We informed the people that there was still fuel left in the cellars of the gas station. For a besieged city, fuel is a very precious resource. Nice. Okay. Now what was next? Day 3. Oh yeah, the supplies. Supply truck. Yeah. Esma encountered a soldier whose supply truck had broken down, risking the wrath of the soldiers. We passed on the news to the people as the siege had deprived Pogarin of even the most vital supplies. Then yes, sniper warning. Esma learned that Esma learned that the thus far safe park had become the hunting grounds of a sniper. To warn the people, we broadcast the news of this as soon as we could, hoping the broadcast, uh, bas hoping the brat bastard, wouldn't find out who compromised his position. Lambs for the slaughter. Esma learned of people in military custody held in inhuman conditions waiting to be brutally interrogated. He spread the word, and the rebels freed them. I decided I dreaded to think what would happen if the soldiers found out it was our doing. Day 5, in the crosshairs. 
uh, the bartender from the music club warned us that Malik's broadcast had angered the military and that we were in the we were in terrible danger. Maybe we should have laid low instead of fighting the, for the truth. Day seven, trapped man. Yes, we came upon a man trapped in a collapsed basement. We couldn't help him ourselves, but we used the radio to ask if anyone could save him. And then, yeah, this as well. Pharmacy people. Fearless. Davor asked us to use the radio to warn the rebels against about the planned military attack on one of their important hideouts. We did it, despite the fear of retribution from the military. Oh, yeah, this one. Day 9. Treachery covered. We learned the horrible truth that Novak, who used to be our friend, was selling names of Viseni, of Viseni and their sympathizers to Grazni, Grazni uh, death squads. We, li we lied, claiming we didn't know the informer's identity in order to protect his son regardless of how many other lives it would, it would cost. Uh, damn. Uh, we later learned that the rebels got him anyway. Aw, oh, damn. Day 9, fight for survival. Esma encountered several bandits and managed to kill them. Yes. Day 12, dangerous truth. Damn, my head hurts. Uh, government forces shelled helpless civilians waiting for water at the old brewery. <clears throat> we tried to draw the attention of the international community to their crimes and the critical situation in Pogren, even though... The Grazni minute soldiers would hate us for it. Summary execution. Our worst nightmares had come true. As a group of soldiers stormed into our home at night, the vile monsters destroyed our radio and summar summarily executed Malik. Our dearest Malik. Life would be meaningless and empty without him. Adam's return. Adam deserted the army and returned home to warn us that the military was intent on shutting our radio station down, but it was too late. Yes. Day 15. Stepping into the breach. We managed to fix the radio and decided to continue Malik's work of broadcasting helpful news and spreading the truth of the atrocities committed in Pogarin by the, by the soldiers. Malik died defending the truth, and it was the least we could do to honor his memory. God damn, that was good. That was a good story. The last broadcast. After the war, Adam was pardoned for his desertion from the army. He stayed in Pogren to look after Esma and aid her in running the radio. But he was greatly pained by the fact that he failed to reconcile with his father and returned too late to save him. If only he could turn back time. Malik's death broke Esma's heart, but she found some degree of solace in solace, that's right, solace, in continuing his mission with the help of their son. When the war finally ended, her radio station remained popular because many people remembered how how much help it had been during the siege. Aww. The army enraged by Malik's broadcasting broadcasts about their war crimes sent a death squad to his door. He was summar summarily, summarily executed for, con for collusion with the rebels, but would be remembered by the people of Pogren as someone who had always brought them hope and fought for the truth. Nice. And that's it. That is the end of the last broadcast. Ah, nice. In the next, we will be doing Fading Embers. I do not know anything about this. I mean, I don't know anything about any of these. These were really cool to do. Damn. Alright, yeah, that's what we'll do. We will do Fading Embers next time. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for uh, joining me in this this war of... <laughs> in this this war of mine journey. Oh, it's nice. Anyway, thank you all for enjoying this, if you are. Goodbye for now. <laughs>